What's up guys? So today is I don't remember what day it is anymore. Saturday I think. Um and to start off this month of October, I'm gonna take you guys on don't mind like the giant bin in the back that's from my cosmetology state boards. Still back there. Um it is super nice outside still. So I'm like kind of in a tank top but with like a dark lip and like trying to be fall but it's still kind of summer here. What we're gonna do today is just go to a couple thrift stores and see what they got going on. I've been already to a couple um couple weeks before October, about a month before, and um already looked at their Halloween stuff, so I'm a little excited. Um I'm just gonna go there, kind of see what they have. Hopefully, they have some cute things. Um, I think I know what I want to be for Halloween, but I do need a couple things, so we'll see what they have. And then I'll just show you guys what I bought um, and why I bought them for like what projects and whatever. And I'll show you guys a couple clips. finding Halloween costumes. I mean, I'm just kind of finding things to add to like the Halloween costumes I've had now, but I did find a couple couple things like name brands which were kind of shocking to find at Valley Village and Goodwill here. Um, but I'll tell you in my follow-up. Oh my god, my lipstick. <laughs> but I did find um, actually two name brand shoes and um a name brand what's it called a wallet and yeah i'll show you in the end what up guys okay sorry about the whole wardrobe change and everything i had to um take care of a couple things when i go home and so this is actually filmed on another day unfortunately um so here we go oh what i did was i went to valley village and i looked at a couple of their um, Halloween costumes and a couple of their Halloween decorations and all that and sadly I did not find much. I looked at their flannels and they had a lot of like those business button up flannels so they were very um that crunchy material you know <laughs> where it's like fresh out of the wash and like um ironed and like not the flannel I'm looking for because I'm looking for like that soft cozy flannel unfortunately you have to probably get that at like urban outfitters or macy's or wherever um but i did find a couple things i did post a couple of these on my poshmark so unfortunately they do not have a price tag on them but but i have had good luck at finding name brands i found two of these pairs of shoes yeah it's funny Two of these pairs of shoes because I was just like, oh, they're so cute and they fit and they're so cozy. And um, one of them, the owner, whoever had this before me, actually put slips at the bottom of it. I'll show you in a sec. Um, so it doesn't slip around. And I took tags off of these already. I did not do it on one thing. Yeah, I did not do it on one thing, only because, um, <clears throat> I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. So, I'll just go right into it and show you. Um, I do remember how much it is, because it was earlier. Like, it was yesterday, and I just took the tags off and everything. And just listed it to Poshmark as well. So, I was really surprised. <laughs> Alright, so, here we go. First one, I did keep the tags on, but I might keep them. It's these booties. I got them at Goodwill. Um, look at the bottom of them. This is what I look for. You can still see the design. Means they're good. Um, means they're barely worn, but look inside. Almost amazingly not worn. And this brand, I did not know about. I had to Google it when I was in there. Always Google weird brands you don't know. Oh, God. Gentle Soul. I believe these go for about, I think they're from Nordstrom's. Oh 
God, I can't remember. They go for about 40 something, I want to say. Haven't listed these yet because I don't know if I want to keep them. But again, got them for what the heck? $6.99. These, um, I bought because they were cute. They were adorable. Look at that suede material. Look how cute those. I wanted red ones, but look at the bottom of that heel. And they added this. Little grippies. And I'm like, oh my god, that's such a smart idea. So, these people bought it. Warm, I don't know how many times, kept them in really good condition. Because look at these. Like, just need to be dusted off or whatever, but oh my god. So I got them and tried them on. My mom looks at them. She's a huge shopper looked at them and was like, those are name brand shoes. Google them. And I was like, okay, I'll Google it. These shoes, now I don't know if this is right. This is just what I found on the internet. This is what I found under the shopping part of Google. About two, three hundred dollar shoes. What? Two to three hundred dollar shoes. I got them at Valley Village for less than ten bucks. What? I don't understand. I don't get it. I did list these on Poshmark. Um, I went off of the prices. People were selling them for second hand. That is just so sad. I know. But I did list them on Poshmark. They are the price that people will sell them on eBay. They are the price that people have already started selling them used. So for me to list them as 10 bucks is kind of just a giveaway. But these are really comfortable. Like, oh my god. I was walking around with these just like at home. Oh my god, they're so comfortable. They kept them in amazing condition. Amazing condition. This, I took off the tags before I made this video. I don't know why. I always come home and I rip tags off. And then I realize what I did later. These, I got brand new. Surprising, right? Uh, Billabong, just your summer, summer, oh my god. Your, um winter just winter gloves i don't have winter gloves i have those like little cloth ones that just like seep wetness through so look at them like look at the the leather is like still there these were like five bucks um yeah weirds me out that someone could have put their hands in here and like been gross but they had the tag still on them i swear they had the tag still on them um and i was like okay if the tags are still on them no one's gonna go outside in the snow with tags so and they're like connected so and last no not last but not last I have one more thing um I got this look how cute this is I got this at Goodwill as well I always find like good stuff there um this did have the little tag on it this was six dollars I believe and I found this on the ground just in the middle of the uh, um wallet section but look Dooney and Burke Oh my god, it's just so cute. And the only thing is it has this, it's a vintage one, so I mean you're going to get a little wear and tear. But this part is still intact. A lot of people are selling this with this ripped up. Um, I did list this. I did list this for pretty cheap. I was looking on eBay, people were listing these pretty expensively. $30 to $40, $50, $60, and because it is vintage. Um... I didn't list it for that much. I don't remember what I did. I think it was like under 40. And last but not least, I already have this displayed. <laughs> I got this for like those 99 cents cups at like, like Valley Village. Look how cute it is. It's Happy Halloween. Yeah, it was like 99 cents. So it's like your little cheap one. Oh my god, so cute. Alright guys, that is it. Those are my Fall Hall Valley Village slash Goodwill. I thought I was going to get more lucky, um, fortunately I did not. I was looking for things to sell on Poshmark, I was looking for costumes to buy, um, I think I'm going to do more costume hunting closer to the Halloween season, like, when I mean that, I mean, like, in October, um, uh, <coughs> like, further in October, but, that is all I found right now, I mean, I think... These are pretty good pre-fall, pre-winter deals. Um, feel free to check out the Poshmark. I try to list things all the time there. I try to list one thing daily, if not one thing weekly. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any more questions or if you have any 
more video recommendations, places to go shopping, places to go do this, or DIY, whatever, just popped in your head, whatever you want to see me do, just comment below, message me ahead, and I hope you guys have a very, very great day.